In this video series we're going to take a look at matrices and part one will be an introduction to matrices. So first of all let's just think about some of the applications of matrices. So why might we, we be interested in using them? How can, we, how can we apply them? Well they can be used for solving simultaneous equations. They can also be used in the modeling of biological systems. They can be used to generate 3D computer graphics. Uh, they can be used for the analysis of reflection and refraction of light in optics. Uh, they get used in cryptography, chemistry, geology and a whole host of other uh, scientific areas. So you, really there's a lot of different things that matrices can be used for. So there is a point to these and there is a reason that we're looking at them because of all these different applications. So what is a matrix? So a matrix is a set of numbers arranged in rows and columns to form a rectangular array. So if we've just got one of these things, we, record, we refer to it as a matrix. If we've got several of them, we refer to them as matrices. So here is a matrix. We've got numbers arranged into rows and columns to form this rectangular array of numbers. OK, so let's think about the rows and columns for a moment. So let's take our example matrix. And we've got three rows here, and then we can also think about the columns. We can think about these as being arranged into two columns. And there's something called the order of the matrix, so matrix order, or the dimension. And it's basically the size of the matrix, because you can get different sizes of matrices. And you always present it as rows by columns. So for the example that we're looking at at the moment, we refer to this as a three by two, because there are three rows and two columns. You can also present this as a number three and then a time symbol and two, but you still refer to it as a three by two. So there are just different ways of, of writing this down in terms of the order for the matrix. OK, so um, matrices can also contain symbols and expressions. So here's an, an example of a matrix with symbols. Here's an example where we've got different mathematical expressions. Or we might have a mixture of numbers, symbols and expressions. So all of these different things can apply uh, to matrices. OK, so also the different uh, numbers in there or expressions or symbols, whatever it might be, are referred to as elements or also referred to as entries in the matrix. So this uh, 3 by 2 matrix has uh, six elements or entries in there. And a more generic form of this would be to have uh, a symbol and then some subscript numbers that refer to the row and the column. So the first number is referring to the row. So we've got row one, two, three going down. And then the second number is referring to the column. So we've got column one and two. So if we just take an example of this element here, a subscript one, two, a is referring to either a number, a symbol, or an expression, so it could be any of those things. And then the first number is the row position, and the second number is the column position. Okay, and a matrix can also be denoted by a capital letter. So if we've got this matrix here made up of these different elements, we could just refer to it as capital A. Okay, so that's been an introduction to matrices. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching.